right, in this video, we're gonna mess around with the Spotify API using Tasker and also an app called AutoWeb. AutoWeb does all of the dirty work for us. And what I'm gonna show you here is how to get all of your playlist, assuming that you are the creator of the playlist. You can easily change that uh, by copying and pasting songs from someone else's playlist and adding it to your own playlist. And as long as you have that, we can get all these playlists. For example, here I have Muse, and uh, cycling through these on my custom live wallpaper, Wolf Mother, 10th Anniversary, and you can follow all these playlists that I have right here. I am pulling all of these with the song title, so this is kind of a way of you knowing what's my previously played song versus what's my next song coming up or, or whatever. This is just one little thing you can do with the Spotify API. I do wanna show you this. And then also as well, if I go back, okay, let's look at this one right here, for example, Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Getaway, and that is this playlist that I have right here. Suppose I wanted to change this um, over in the Spotify app or on my device or whatever. And if I just change the Red Hot Chili Peppers to RHCP, and if I save this, what I can do is I can press this little button right here. Now notice it did change my playlist title, but it did not change here. Uh, if I press this button and give it a second to update, this should say RHCP the getaway once it runs. And as you can see, it does do it right there. So however you edit it in the app, whether it be on your device or on your desktop application, it will update here as well. And if I were to add songs to this, it would do that. If I were to remove songs from it, it would do that as well. Let me come down here to one of my son's playlists. So I'm gonna scroll over here to Jackson real quick. And suppose I come down here to this playlist that I've created, and if I want to uh, remove this song right here, he's not a baby anymore, so let's just remove that from the playlist. And that was the Hush Little Baby, so it still shows it right there, but if I refresh this and let Tasker run the task in the background, it should take away this song once it reruns the task and pulls all my playlist. And as you can see, it's gone now. With all that said, you're gonna need Tasker and you're gonna need AutoWeb. Uh, AutoWeb you can get from the Play Store just like you can Tasker as well. Once you download AutoWeb, you can go to your web services and you can actually add the Spotify API if it's not already there. You can go up here to Plus and then you can go to Import and it'll look for it. So here's Spotify right here. If you hold your finger down on that, and go to re-authenticate. What this will do is it's gonna open up a Chrome tab on your device and it's gonna be a way for you to verify Spotify. So now it's going to log into Spotify and as long as it does all this, you wanna check this box up here and then press X to close out of that and Spotify should be linked in. You should be linked into the API. That's all I had to do to get this to work uh, once I started doing things inside of Tasker. So once you have all that done, let's test this out and make sure that it is linked up correctly uh, with the API. So I'm gonna to go to add a task. I'm just gonna call this test Spotify. Inside of this task, I'm going to add, and I'm gonna type in AutoWeb, do AutoWeb service. For configuration, let's go and select the Spotify API. For the API action, there's a lot of things you can do here, but we're just gonna test and make sure it's getting our account. So I'm going to select my account info and for output, we can get a whole bunch of things just from uh, your account. Now what I'm going to get here is the email to, let's do email and I don't know what it's gonna show here. Let's just select these three for right now. All right, once we have those, I'm gonna back out of here, check on this and notice these things here are the things that you checked on. I'm just gonna select the email one. So I'm gonna back out of here and I'm going to flash and that variable, well, if you forget it, oftentimes you can click on this and I wanna get the percent email. That's the one that's gonna be getting returned from this auto web web service. So when I press this, I should see an email address down here at the bottom and it does work just fine. So now that that's out of the way, let's actually look at the tasks that I'm running to get all of my playlist and all of my song titles. Just make sure your playlist is created by you. Notice here, any of my playlists are created by, and this is my username. We wanna keep that in mind as we create this stuff. So here is the entire task that I'm getting all of my playlist and the songs from each playlist. This first one here we don't need. That's just to test and make sure that it is linked up with your account. 
the first thing you really want to do is get your current playlist. So again, that's going to be another auto web web service, just like we did previously. Under configuration, Spotify API, the action needs to be current users playlist. You can get that from this list of stuff here. I don't worry about filters right now. For output, I want to get the ID, the name, and I think that's all we want to get from here. Oh yeah, and the total, the total number of playlists. So you want those three things to make it work over in KOWP. And I didn't select anything else inside of here. And that's all we need for this. So checking on that, so notice the three variables that we're gonna be looking at here. Items ID, that's the ID of your playlist, not the name. The name is the name of your playlist and the total is going to be the total number of playlists that you have. So now that we have that, I'm going ahead and sending over one variable to KOWP. KOWP send variable, the name of the variable that I will use in KOWP is number of playlist. And remember, percent total is going to be getting returned from that auto web web service. And that's going to be the number of playlists that I have. So how many ever playlists I have over here is what's going to be getting sent over to KOWP. So once you have that one, and again, that's how do you get the KOWP send variable? Any of these things, these uh, actions that I have, you can go to filter down here. I'm going to type in KOWP and there's KOWP send variable. So that's how I got that one set up. Now we are ready to start our loop. So I'm creating a temporary or a local variable. For that, you go to plus, type in variable, look for variable set, and name it whatever you want. I'm calling it counter. Don't forget your percent. And I'm setting it to one. Now, the way Tasker works is the first item or the first playlist that you have is going to have an index of one. It's not going to have an index of zero. So I want to start at one. That's all I have for that action. And now I'm sending over another variable to KOWP. So again, very similar. You add another action, KOWP send variable. And this one, its name is going to be playlist and then percent counter. So this will be playlist one, playlist two, playlist three, and so forth, depending on how many playlists you have. And what is the actual value going to be? It's going to be percent name, and in parentheses, we put percent counter. When you run that auto web web service to get the names of your playlist, a variable that's getting returned is percent name, and it was an array. As long as we put this percent counter in parentheses, it will return percent name one, percent name two, percent name three, but it's actually going to be returning the names of these playlists. These are gonna be the items in that array of our playlist titles. So I'm calling that playlist percent counter. That way in KOWP, I can access it by playlist one, playlist two, playlist three, et cetera. So checking on that, let's back out. Oh yeah, and one more thing for this too. Um, I put a label on this one too, this one that we just talked about, the playlist counter, and I put a label, I called it loop, because I'm going to want to jump back to that particular spot. And whenever you add a label, it will add it right there. So now that we're, we've sent over, technically what's happening here, we've sent over, if our counter set to one, we've just sent over the first playlist title. And then what we wanna do, once we send over that playlist title, let's go ahead and get the tracks from that first playlist. So technically what's going on here is it's just sending over the playlist Muse. That's my title here. And then what it's gonna do, the auto web web service, we want to now get the tracks from this playlist. So configuration, get playlist track. The output, we want to get track name. That's all you wanna get. But how do we identify this a little bit more? Well, what we need to do here for user ID, put in your user ID, whatever it is over here, making that match up. And then playlist ID. This is where we need the items ID from earlier. Items ID percent counter. Items ID is gonna return some numbers and letters. It's a special ID for your specific playlist. And it's gonna be whatever counter I'm on. So items ID one, it's gonna return a weird string of numbers and letters, but it's gonna to correlate to this playlist. And what it's going to do by us having this set up and also with the output to get the track, as I mentioned earlier, track name, what this is going to do is it's gonna return the tracks from this particular playlist. And then one more thing as well, for the output, we could get an array of 
song titles, which there's nothing wrong with that. But actually what I'm doing here is I'm going to take all of those song titles that are going to be separated by commas. I'm going to use two at symbols. You can use whatever symbols you want, but basically I'm not using a comma just in case one of my songs has a comma in it. It may separate a song when I don't want it to. This will return a single variable. It's going to be long. It's going to have all the songs in a particular playlist, but we can do some regex in KLWP to remove these and add each song on a new line on our custom live wallpaper. So the variable that we want to be using now is percent playlist track name. Notice it does not have parentheses again because I'm joining joining all these things together and I'm just separating them with two at symbols. Something to clearly separate each song name. So now let's kind of recap what's going on. Percent counters one, I'm getting my first playlist title inside of here since I use the items ID which came from up here when we got our playlist. I'm using the ID of my first playlist. I'm getting the tracks in this action here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that single variable, KOWP send variable, and what I'm calling this in KOWP, again, this is going to be one long variable of all the track names in a single playlist. They're gonna be separated with two at symbols. And this is for my first playlist, so I'm gonna call it tracks one. Then when I go to my second playlist and get this title and these songs, it's going to be tracks two, and it's going to be one long string of text with each individual song from this playlist separated by two at symbols. That will be tracks two. So backing out of there. And then what we want to do is once we send over those tracks from that particular playlist, we want to take our variable that we call percent counter. I want to add one to it. So variable add, take percent counter, and add one to it. Then what's going to happen? I want to stop this playlist if my counter, percent counter that I'm adding one to it, whenever it's going to be greater than the percent total, which is the total number of playlists that I have on my Spotify account, I want to stop this task that I've called Playlist Auto Web. That's the name of this task that I've created here. However, if it's not, if percent counter is not greater than total, what I'm telling it to do is go to an action label and I'm going to that loop, that label that I created earlier, that I told you about earlier. So what this will do here is once it's gone through, percent counters one, so it's getting the first playlist, it's gonna get the tracks from the first playlist, it's gonna send it over to KOWP, and then it's going to add one to counter. Since counter is not gonna be greater than total, it's gonna go back to this loop label. And since we've added one to counter, the counter is now gonna be two. So it's gonna get the second playlist, the tracks of the second playlist. It's going to send over those tracks to KOWP, and then it's gonna make percent counter become three. And it will continue this loop here until percent counter is greater than percent total. And that's how that works there. In the second part of this tutorial, I'll come back and I'll show you how to set it up in KOWP with the regex, uh, getting the number of playlists to work, how do we use a text global variable uh, to make all this work such that we can scroll through all of these playlists. And then as I'm scrolling through these, I'm not running my task. I'm not running this task unless I press this button right here. And the only time I would recommend doing that is if you add a new playlist, remove a playlist, modify a playlist, because that will keep your call limit down. I could not find a definite limit on the number of calls for APIs. I just do know sometimes APIs are a little strict on how many calls you can make. But again, part two of setting this up in KOWP will come in the second tutorial. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.